Praise the Lord and hallelujah. Our Lord and our God, we just want to exalt you today too. We just want to bless and adore you. We just want to give you glory. Thank you so, so much, O oh God, for the gift of life. Thank you for the breath that you've given unto us. Thank you, O oh God, for the gift of health. Father, the Lord Jesus, this day I'm so grateful that you are always with us. Have your way and glorify your wonderful name. In Jesus' mighty name, hallelujah. Brethren in the Lord, we thank God so much for his faithfulness, O oh God. We pray that, Lord, have your way and speak to us, spirits of God. We adore you for all that you do in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Brethren in the Lord, I welcome you this day to the program, How to Understand the Word of God. I will take a devotional reading from Ezra chapter 10, the verses 9 to 12. Ezra 10, 9 to 12. Let's hear the word of God. Within three days, all the people of Judah and Benjamin had gathered in Jerusalem. This took place in 19th of December. I'm reading from the NLT. And all the people were sitting in the square before the temple of God. And they were trembling both because of the seriousness of the matter and because it was raining. Then Ezra the priest stood and said to them, You have committed a terrible sin. By marrying pagan women, you have increased Israel's guilt. Israel's guilt. So now confess your sin to the Lord, the God of your ancestors, and do what he demands. Separate yourselves from the people of the land and from these pagan women. Then the whole assembly raised their voices and answered, Yes, you are right. We must do as you say. Hallelujah. When we add the 13, we see that his, they said, then they added, It isn't something that can be done in a day or two. For many of us are involved in this extremely sinful affair. And this is the many and this is the rainy season, so we cannot stay out here much longer. Hallelujah. Brethren in the Lord, this is the word of God. Israel had sinned against the Lord, and the Lord was angry with them. We know that our God is a holy God. The spirit he gives to us is holy. That is why he is called the Holy Spirit. Therefore, it is just by grace that we are able to stand before the Lord our Maker because there are many things people do, many things that we do that does not please God. And because of His mercy, He forgives us and takes us in again. He is a good God. And this time, Israel had intermarried pagan wives and pagan husbands. People who were their enemies, people God even uh, drew away from them. People that God cleared from their way, they are now marrying them. In the same way, some of us go to church and call ourselves Christians but are still indulging in sins that that disgraces the name of the Lord. Sins that God, this is every sin before the Lord is something very serious, whether big or small. And in this case, they had married pagan women and were doing things, worshipping idols and doing things that God detested. We pray that the Lord will help us so that our yes will be yes and our no be no. We have to stay in the truth. There is no middle way. We have to focus on the Lord God. He says he's a jealous God, visiting the iniquities of the fathers to the fourth, to the third and fourth generation. We need to be extra careful. 
so that the wrath of God will not come upon us. Because grace still abounds, let's run to grace and then turn our backs to the world. May the Holy Spirit help us to do so. God bless you. Let us stay focused in the Lord and allow the Holy Spirit to guide us in everything we do. God richly bless you. Have a fruitful day. Bye-bye.